Welcome to the Dental Radiology Department at the University Dental Hospital in Cardiff. This short presentation will guide you through what to expect when you attend for an ultrasound examination and sciatogram. On arriving, you will be greeted by our clinic coordinator and then guided into the department by a member of the radiology team. Hello there, my name is Nick Drage. You've been referred by your consultant regarding a swelling in your neck. Once now, seated, the radiologist the will explain the procedure to you. And what it entails doing is, in a second, lying back flat in the chair, darkening the room so you can see the screen properly, and putting jelly on your neck from here down to here on both sides and having a little look around. If possible, try to avoid wearing high neck clothing and jewellery such as necklaces or large earrings. Okay, there's a problem there. If you have long hair, you may be asked to tie it up. Paper tissue will be placed around your collar to prevent jelly from getting on your clothes. A clear water-based jelly is placed on the probe to ensure a good contact between the skin and the probe. The ultrasound scan will be performed by a consultant or a trainee under supervision and there may be junior staff observing. The ultrasound probe will then be moved over the neck, scanning the chin, ear and down to the collarbone. Pictures will be saved onto a computer which makes a beeping sound. The procedure does not hurt and it does not involve radiation. There are no side effects. Okay, if you get swelling of one of your salivary glands, particularly at meal times, your doctor or dentist may refer you for a sialogram. This examination is required to identify blockages within the gland, such as stones. Sialography is a commonly performed procedure. The radiologist will explain to you what the procedure involves. Please take all your regular medication and eat normally. You'll be asked to remove any jewellery and take out any false teeth and x-ray pictures are taken of the gland. The dye containing iodine is passed through a small tube into the duct of a salivary gland. If you are allergic to iodine, please inform the radiologist. The opening to the duct is located either underneath your tongue or in the inside of your cheek, depending on which gland is affected. Once the dye is in the gland, several x-ray pictures are taken. The procedure is sometimes uncomfortable and may cause temporary swelling of a salivary gland. This will resolve in a few hours. The procedure takes 10 to 15 minutes to perform. The tube is then removed and you'll be given a rinse to take away the taste of the dye. I'll give you a rinse now. The x-ray pictures will be processed immediately and the radiologist will discuss the findings with you. A report will be sent to the dentist or doctor who referred you. We hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on the telephone number given on your appointment letter.